and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and this is Ted hello. and we post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am so if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash it. And now we're going to share with you how to make our delicious warm roasted vegetable and smoked mackerel salad. As I just mentioned, today I'm going to be making my warm roasted vegetable and smoked mackerel salad. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it makes a delicious meal for a hot summer's day, but it also makes a brilliant packed lunch or picnic as well. Um, the weather isn't great in the UK at the moment, it's been raining quite a lot. So this sort of meal I think is perfect for this sort of weather, weather even. <laughs> um, it's very warming, um, so when the weather's not brilliant, it's a really nice dinner to have in the summer, I think. So, as it is raining today, I thought I'd make this for my lunch, and while I was making it, I thought I'd share the recipe we. with you. We thought we would share the recipe <laughs> with you. <laughs> so, here is how to make our delicious, Thank you. Warm, roasted vegetable and smoked mackerel salad. First thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 200 degrees. The oven is preheated and now what we're going to do is we are going to add the vegetables to a baking tray. So what we have here is some tomatoes that Ted kindly chopped for me in half. So we're going to put the tomatoes in, alright? And then we have um, about one centimetre inch or centimetre thick piece of butternut squash. So I peeled the butternut squash and then I just chopped it into cubes. And then I also have um, about one centimetre thick piece of sweet potato. The sweet potato is additional. If you want to add potato or a carbohydrate to this, then you can. It's not in the original recipe, but I had some in, this, in the fridge that I just wanted to use up. So I thought I'd put it in here today. And then I also have some beetroot as well. And again, I've cut that into one centimetre pieces. Um, and I'm just going to put all of this into a baking tray and I also have these as well and these are part of the beetroot and I really like to roast these and eat these in this salad as well. Um, if you have any beetroot leaves as well, they taste really nice in this salad as well. So unfortunately I couldn't get any today. There so, was one on the beetroot. Yeah, but I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> But if you can get the salad leaves as well that go with the beetroot, then it is really nice. And now what I'm going to do is just mix all of these together. And then, can you drizzle over a tablespoon of olive oil for me? I hate you feel it buried when you started to tell me like... Oh, did he? On Fortnite? No, I just... No, when I was, when I was a bit bored, I just, I just thought that. Oh, okay. Right, um, and then we're going to add a pinch of salt. Do you want to put a pinch of salt on for me? That's it, lovely. And I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper. Oh, can I do this because otherwise it might be a bit peppery, mightn't it? A little bit of pepper and then I'm going to toss all of these ingredients together. When you say toss, I thought you meant like toss them around. Like, what <laughs> no, well it is kind of tossing them around, isn't it? Um, so yeah, um, this actually serves two, if you're wondering. So I should be having this cold again tomorrow. So that's all the vegetables done. And now I'm just, I'm gonna add my smoked mackerel to the top. The, the big and fat I'm, fishy. <laughs> And I'm going to put this into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes now. Yep. Our vegetables are roasting in the oven yep. um, and they're looking good. So we are going to make a salad dressing for this recipe now. Um, and I have about 100 mils of olive oil in a bowl. And I'm going to ask Ted to tip about 40 mils of you. tamari into that olive oil. Oh, it looks and then I'm going to add I squeeze this. Uh, one, ju the juice of one lime that Ted kindly squeezed for me. Da, da, da. And then Whoa. 
We are going to add a teaspoon oh, of honey. Tis gonna lick the spoon apparently. Yum yum. Not a big teaspoon. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Right, we're well, I'm having honey with my lunch. Oh, I'm gonna have some honey. So yeah, and then I'm going to add. Oh, I'm gonna have some honey. 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 Oh, I'm gonna have but unfortunately I didn't have any coriander to hand and I didn't have any dried coriander so I've had to use a teaspoon of oregano I'm sure or oregano I'm sure it's going to taste just as good mm. and now I'm going to sprinkle in some pepper and I'm also going to get Ted to do a couple of pinches of salt for me once he's finished licking the spoon right so that's that done and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix these ingredients together yep, carefully and that is our salad dressing done. done. As you can see here the vegetables have been in the oven for about half an hour and they are beautifully cooked so what we are going to do is we are going to take the fish from the top Let me, I'm going to get Hang on, that's it, one and then we are going to add the salad cream, the salad cream, the salad dressing to, okay, to all of the vegetables and then we're just going to mix that around and that is mummy's dinner done and ready to serve onto a plate. That's my dinner done, all served and ready to go and I'm really looking forward to eating this. The recipe for this I will leave in the description box below for you. So for now that's Thank it from us. us. Thank, Thank you so much, much for watching. Please feel free to give, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to smash the subscribe button. See you all soon.